Welcome everybody to the May 2015 Gaming PC Builds of the Month here at Noob Computer Build. Nope, I didn't do a video last month. Uh, I meant to, uh, but I did a little vacationing, took a little time off, but uh, to no avail, I'm back now uh, with the May edition of the Gaming PC Build of the Month. So for anyone that's tuning in for the first time, that is a $1,500 build, a $1,000 build, and a $600 build. As well, attached to this is a gaming PC peripheral considerations uh, kind of section. I won't do that in this video because it makes for kind of a long video. But those in, in that article, if you visit the website here at noobcomputerbuild.com, uh, you will get some suggestions for keyboards, mice, and monitors, which aren't included in the base build. So if you are planning a build from scratch and have absolutely nothing, that might be good for you. Uh, but yeah. The builds this month, uh, as per two months, uh, upgraded from two months ago, the biggest change has been cost. So the biggest influence in these builds has been a decrease in cost, which has created a lot more room for uh, a little more up or some upgrades in all the builds, uh, which uh, makes for better builds for the, uh, the amount of money that you're spending. Or you can go back two months ago and save a little cash and kind of have the same performance as you would have two months ago with uh, these budget builds, uh, these specific budget builds. Uh, but yeah, let's get started, and I'll start with the $1,500 gaming PC build of, uh, of the month. As per usual, we have, the, the build comes out to a total of $1,477 currently. Keep in mind, prices change. And also keep in mind, I will link all of this hardware into the description below. So check there if you want links to the hardware, or you can also visit the blog here and uh, kind of participate in the comment section if you like, or kind of read through uh, more into detail as to why I chose these specific parts. But starting with the processor, we have the Intel Core i5-4690K for $235.99, easily overclockable, which is why I include the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler to cool that CPU off, $34.99. Um, the motherboard this month, I have switched it to an MSI Z97 Gaming 5 motherboard, which comes in at $134.99 which is a great price for this board. And this board will overclock the heck out of that, uh, out of that i5-4690K processor. And for a graphics card for $535.99, we have the Zotac GeForce GTX 980. We had this in here before. It's a very powerful card. If you're a gamer that's wanting to game up to 4K resolutions, um, then <laughs> this might be the card for you. And I mean 4K resolutions at a decent play rate. Otherwise, 2560 uh, resolutions, if you want, that this would definitely do that. And if you're uh, going for 1920 by 1080, it'll play any game no problem maxed out. Really high FPS, but uh, for those kind of gamers, I would suggest the $1,000 build and save, save a few bucks because uh, it's not too hard to max out the 1080p with that build. For RAM, we have a total of 16 gigabytes, this Crucial Ballistic Sport. RAM has gone down significantly in price, and it is kind of the major game player in... Uh, the reasoning behind why the prices on all the budget builds have gone down. So this is 16 gigs of RAM for $109, which is really cheap. If you keep in mind, four, three, four months ago, RAM was this like this specific kit of RAM was uh, up around $140. So a lot saved here. Hard drive: Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte, 4864. On top of that, we have a solid state drive such as a SanDisk Extreme Pro Super Fast <laughs> solid state drive, 240. Uh, gigabytes for only $141.99. For the power supply, we have the super high quality EVGA Supernova 750 watt 80 uh, 750 watt sorry G2 series power supply. It's 80 plus gold certified, highly efficient, and highly recommended. Uh, for $116.26, the case this month is the Corsair Carbide Series 330R Blackout Edition Ultra Silent uh, PC case, and it's uh, $99.99. It is mid tower. I usually do try to squeeze in a full tower in uh, the $1,500 build, but everything will fit in just fine. You'll still have room for upgrades. Uh, but I think this is a worthy purchase for uh, any of the builds, but it is a super quiet case and, uh, and uh, made out of pretty good uh, parts. So I put that in here this month. And for an optical drive, we have the light on, just a whatever light on 24 times SATA internal DVD optical drive uh, slash writer. For $18.69, you can get this, not get this, I don't care. Up to you if you need an optical drive. Uh, and this will come out to $1,476.53 uh, currently. 
And as per usual, I include a few upgrades <coughs> suggestions for those that have a little more and want some upgrade suggestions for the future, uh, such as an Intel Core i7 4790K. If you want an i7, do a little more than gaming, you know, do graphics work, do video work. And this might help out uh, a little more. But this comes in at $338.99. Uh, if you want a liquid CPU cooler, these are pretty new. This Corsair Hydro Series H100i, $118.99. You can get uh, kind of uh, a, dual a dual GPU card, such as uh, this uh, XFX R9295, which has gone down in price, $630.49. This is a super powerful card, and I would suggest this for anyone that is aiming for the 4K gaming PC build and wants to really get the highest FPS possible. <laughs> possible? Yeah, possible. Uh, um, this will do the trick. So if you're in that kind of ballpark and that's your expectations for your gaming PC build, then I recommend that as an upgrade. <clears throat> or you can uh, get a total of one terabyte SSD, $397.99, such as this Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, you can just go with an SSD and kind of scrap the Seagate Barracuda if you wanted uh, and just use the one hard drive for everything. Now moving on to the $1,000 gaming PC build for May 2015 comes in at a, a little over a thousand at a thousand seventeen dollars right now but um, the processor we have is the same as the fifteen hundred dollar build Intel Core i5 4690k two hundred thirty five dollars ninety nine cents Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler thirty four ninety nine motherboard the Asus Z97 A uh, motherboard it's one hundred thirty nine ninety nine um, you can get the I could kind of include it. This was in the $1,500 build before. It went down in price quite a bit, so I thought I'd squeeze it in here. Um, it, it's up to you. You can, you can kind of swap the motherboards between these two builds. Uh, I just put them kind of... I kind of wanted to... Because the motherboard in the $1,500 build went down, so it was more expensive before, so I wanted to include that in the kind of the top-end build. And then the Z97A, which was in the top-end build, into the kind of mid-range build, just to, just to make things a little more exciting. Uh, for the graphics card, we have this EVGA GeForce GTX 970. This is a s really good graphics card, especially for what you pay for it and what you get out of it. $329.99, so quite affordable for a high-performance card. And this will um, game 2560 by 1440 if you wanted, quite easily in most games. I do suggest looking at the games that you want to play if you know them beforehand and just... Uh, look up a few benchmarks if you want, but this will most likely play most games at that resolution and 1920 by 1080 All games no problem So if this is your kind of uh, ballpark for games, this is my suggestion uh, Suggestion for you and for RAM we have an 8 gigabyte kit of crucial ballistics 4799 This has gone down in price as well quite significantly hard drive Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte 4864 no SSD due to budget uh, we'd go way over budget, but uh, it is in the alternative section below. Uh, power supply. EVGA Supernova 650-watt G1 series. $84.99. Should be more than enough uh, power for you. The only recommendation I would have is if you want to SLI later or um, so such as get a, a two graphics cards, two GTX 970s, then I would up this to a higher wattage uh, power supply. Otherwise, you should be good. Uh, but... I do note that in the alternative section below. So, and then the computer case, very similar to the $1,500 build, but this is the Corsair Carbide Series Black uh, 300R mid tower computer case for $62.99. So, a very good price for a quality case, and it's been popular for quite some time. And optical drive, light on uh, DVD optical drive writer, $1,870, up to you if you want to get it. And this comes out to $1,017.55 uh, currently. And then now moving on to Kind of the alternatives or, up or upgrades if you have a little bit extra to spend or want upgrades for the future. Uh, an SSD. These are kind of newer. Uh, this is an o, uh, not the highest quality, but they're a good bang for the buck. So these OCZ uh, storage solution arc uh, solid state drives. This is a 240 gigabyte um, card at $88.54. So $88.54 for 240 gigabyte SSD is phenomenal. So there's a recommendation there if you want a little. I, I do recommend it at some point in time, at least getting any SSD. It'll make a world of a difference uh, with your boot and load times. You can SLI with another EVGA GeForce GTX 970, which will cost you another $329.99. Uh, you want more hard drive space, got a lot of media uh, or a ton of games. Uh, here's a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda. Not much more at $74.99 if you want double the space. 
Uh, or if you want a liquid CPU cooler, this is the other version, the course, uh, newer version of the Corsair Hydro Series H80i um, for $99.99. And now finally, this $600 uh, gaming PC build for me in 2015. This build has uh, had a significant upgrade here, and it went down in price, and it only comes in at $605 right now. But I have upgraded the usual processor recommendation, which was the AMD FX 6300. Now I have squeezed in here this AMD uh, FX 8320 8-core Black Edition processor, so also easily overclockable. And this comes in $136.48, so that's a significant upgrade for this build for the same price as it was previously for the lower processor. Motherboard, we have this Micro ATX gig, uh, Gigabyte GA78 LMT, $59.98. Cheap Micro ATX board, small board, uh, so we're trying to keep this build nice and compact as per usual. Two graphics card suggestions. These are the same two as the last time. So the Sapphire Radeon R9 280, $199.99. EVGA GeForce GTX 960, $204.99. So this has gone down in price a little bit. Price discrepancy, they're about the same price. Up to you what you want to get. The Radeon R9 280 performs slightly faster. And just say slightly, you probably won't even notice the difference. But if you want the slightly faster card, go with the Sapphire Radeon R9 280. Or if you want the power, uh, sorry, the graphics card that's more power efficient, uses less power, um, maybe save you a few bucks on the energy build, I, I don't know, uh, you, then go with the EVGA GeForce GTX 960. Up to you. But I do include the, them for those, those two for those reasons. Uh, RAM, 8GB Crucial Ballistic Sport, 8GB uh, kit, 5299 Se uh, Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive, 4864, 600-watt uh, um, PSU, uh, EVGA uh, bronze certified one. So it's not the most efficient PSU in the world, but it's cheap at $59.99, and it, it is still a quality uh, power supply, and it'll power this no problem. Uh, computer case, Silverstone Tech Micro ATX. So Micro ATX, it's small, fits that compact motherboard, makes this build a nice, small, compact build, which I like for kind of a budget build because it makes them look nice and sleek. This is $39.99. And then the optical drive, uh, like as per all the builds, a slide on 24 times SATA drive. I just try to get the cheapest one here. If you need an optical drive, $18.96, coming in at a total of $605.02. And now for the alternatives for the $600 build, I do recommend if you're going to... Overclock a lot. Uh, this Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler, $34.99. Uh, if you want a more sleek, nicer looking, higher quality micro ATX case, such as this Corsair Carbide Series Air 240, uh, then you can get this one, $79.99. It also comes in a black one if you prefer that. Uh, more hard, uh, hard drive space, Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte, uh, $74.99. Or if you want to add an SSD, such as the same recommendation brand, uh, one o o OCZ1 as in the $1,000 build, but this is the kind of the, not the 240 gigabyte version. No, this is the 240 gigabyte version. Sorry, I linked the wrong one here. But the 120 gigabyte version is $59.99, as aside from the $88.99 for 240 gigabyte ver version. If it were me, I would just upgrade to the $88.99 and get that more space in my SSD. And that kind of does it for the gaming PC builds of the month. Uh, as you see here, I do have a, an article uh, with uh, mice, keyboards, and monitor peripheral suggestions for the builds, which I have three categories of those as well. So if you don't have those or you want upgrades in your gaming peripheral suggestions or hardware that you have, um, then please visit the website. Visit that article. I'm not going to go through it in this video, but um, by all means, check that out. Uh, and then I go through kind of the higher end, mid range, and kind of budget uh, categories for those. And then for those that don't have an operating system, a few, uh, few suggestions here uh, with kind of paid and free versions. Windows 8.1, $91.71. Windows 7, $94.99. Up to you. Doesn't matter which one. Whichever you prefer, I would I would think. And then as well, there, there are free OSs out there, such, such as Ubuntu, uh, which is free. The link is here to the, that website, so you can download that. But uh, depending on what games you want to play, it might not be the best choice for you. Uh, Steam OS still in beta, but you can build your own Steam machine, quote unquote. Uh, that's free right now too, so you can uh, do that as well. So that does it for the video for this month. I'll see everybody next month. Please visit the website noobcomputerbuild.com. Uh, leave a comment on the video. Leave comments on the website. Let's start our conversation. And uh, until next time, thank you.